There are multiple simple tweaks you can do to save money on your internet service provider, from purchasing your own equipment to using different types of internet. But there is plenty more to take into consideration, like what type of internet are you going to get? What speeds do you need or how much are you willing to spend? Many people think that there are but a few high-speed internet service providers in Canada, such as Bell, Videotron, Shaw, Rogers, etc. And that if you want broadband internet service, you have to sign up with one of these major companies, complete with their costly monthly rates, long-term contracts, busy customer service, and upload and download caps per month, forcing you to pay the fine for going over each month or up to the ultra-expensive package that gives but a bit more bandwidth and upload-download limit. Internet service providers, or ISPs, have a stigma of ripping their customers off and charging high prices along with random fees that you didn't realize you needed to pay. But there are ways to save money on your internet plan, and you can get ahead of the curve before you get an unfortunate billing surprise. Did you know that there are many smaller, independent internet service providers, all of which give much more competitive prices than the big names, including prices that are not only more affordable, but that are absolutely unlimited with no cap on how much information you can upload or download per month? For instance, you can pay $30 a month with no contract for unlimited high-speed internet in the Montreal, Quebec region. Today I'll show you exactly how to save money on your internet, how to keep your price low, how to research and find the best smaller internet service provider for your needs, as well as what it entails to make the switch over. What you need to do is open your browser and in your browser open internetproviderscanada.ca. This is the way internetproviderscanada.ca looks. The first thing you have to do is select your region, then select your city and click search. Now, here you have a list of various internet providers servicing the city you selected. You can see their prices, additional fees, data caps, speeds, and internet type. You can open their page to see more details about the company. For example, Ultima Telecom. Here you can see the link to their website and the referral code you can use to get an additional discount. Let's click on ultimatel.com. We select Shop in the main menu, and then select Choose My Speed. Enter your address and select all plans. Click on more details on the cheapest plan. Internet providers reel you in by offering introductory pricing. As tempting as those prices are, be sure to look at what the cost will be over the next years because chances are the price will go up. Some people like to switch every year, so they always have intro pricing from a new ISP, but that only works if you have multiple ISPs in your area. Another way ISPs will try and get a little extra money from you is by asking you to rent a modem. This will cost you on average an additional $10 a month, which comes out to around $120 a year. Renting from your internet provider will make sure your internet works properly and it won't void any warranties or IT fixes you might need. However, if you want to save a little money, you can buy a modem, and if you can handle little IT fixes yourself, you can buy a modem from any big box retailer or even Amazon for a fraction of the cost when compared to renting. As you can see, Ultima Telecom offers a free modem rental, 50% off on activation. You save $40 more, one month free. No term contracts, no surprise price increases. Next, you can select Order Now. Go through the checkout and don't forget to use your referral code. Well, there you go. I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to cover. You'll find all the links in the description of this video. I hope this information helps. Thanks for watching. Until next time.